Hey there, Taurus friends, welcome. I'm going to do your heart spread reading for the second half of October here, 2021. A year that shall surely live in infamy. <laughs> we're, going to look, we're going to need some perspective back on this year, man. Because I don't know about you, but can I just say non-controversially that it's been weird as fuck for the last couple of years? I mean, I'm almost 62 years old. I never even seen anything like this. I pretty wide open dude and I never even dreamed that it's like some weird dystopian movie that should be watching like some B-rated movie <laughs> but no it's reality apparently Whew. so anyway moving through that energy <laughs> this reads the one that's on your mind the one that's in your heart and um, right now you know in Libra season I keep that in mind do check out the soul family reads up for today it's a daily read Always on Mondays, I uh, do uh, Taurus and Aries. I uh, also have the singles read out now. This is for the one on your mind, the one in your heart, the heart spread here. Uh, singles read meet soulmates if you're totally and completely single. But this whole family read is significant. It's just a collective read for whoever resonates. I talk more personally, more less about love and relationship, more about manifestation, spirituality. Uh, but here we're going to look at this one you're thinking of here. In the name of light, love, only so it serves the greatest good. What can we get for Taurus spirit? That is the most helpful in terms of this person that's on their mind here. Thank you. Ten of Wands. Now, as a card reading here, it ends up in the shape of a heart. And with the Ten of Wands, this is your energy in and around love and relationships. And a little bit detached from your energy, but the, with the person you're thinking of. This is, I see, your first house energy in astrology as an astrologer. Uh, I see this as a baseline of kind of where you're at. So you're worn out. You need to get to the village. You need to put down this load um, is a strong energy with this. So uh, whether you're coming in, uh, this reads how you're coming into the relationship, where you were at as you come into this relationship. And um, whether it was five years ago or five minutes ago, um, when you came into this relationship, you were carrying a heavy load. So what do we want when we're carrying a heavy load? We want to put it down. It's natural. Uh, so you've got to watch out already. Where are you going to put that down? Are you going to put it down just before you meet them? Or are you going to hand off this burden to them? That's the energy. So it's not really a good energy to have in terms of coming to a relationship here, Taurus. Two of Swords. And this is a terrible energy. You come into a relationship with, wow. So again, this is your person, where they are, in the round relationships, in their mind, in their heart. And this is the energy to me of, I just don't know. I just don't know. And it's like, it's frustrated and stuck and isolated. There's a lot of isolation with these swords, the eight of swords, two of swords. Um, good thing about the five of swords, it ain't isolated. Usually, there's gonna be somebody involved. Even the Three of Swords, you know, your Three is active here. Two of Swords. And, you know, this literally could be, uh, in the most literal sense, your person here, Taurus. Um, they're in the position of having to make a decision, a uh, mind over heart decision, classically. Um, but let's look at it this way. Like I said, what, what's a human being going to do if you're burdened? You won't put your burden down. Uh, so what can we determine about this person? Um, they must not be in a happy, fulfilling relationship or whoever's on their mind, be it you or whomever, um, unless you're new. And my point is whoever they're with, um, they're not connected with them. It's not solid. Or they wouldn't be in this Two of Swords energy, probably to start with, you know. They'd be talking to the person. They'd be working things out. They'd, here it's like they've detached and, you know, I maybe trying to make a decision about you, you know. So they may be perceiving you as someone that comes with a lot of baggage of things to do. Not, not necessarily here emotional baggage, right? But someone that comes, you know, like they would maybe make more money. Maybe you make less money. Maybe you have a lot of debt. Maybe you have a lot of obligations. That kind of thing. The Two of Pentacles, how you're reacting to them. Well, I got to tell you, this is about the perfect uh, card to have right here. Uh, this is how you're reacting to this person, okay? And um, you're reacting to them in a very balanced way. 
So, and you know, I don't really see this as exactly the, in this position particularly. This is not like the Two of Swords even. Neither, neither of these cards are really, to me, weighing options so much. Here I just feel it is with your person, just mental. They're stuck in this loop in their head um, trying to sort things out. But if, I, if they're cross-watching, share this with them. Point is, if you're in this energy, then yeah, it's, there's not even a question anymore. If you're in love and you're committed and you have a healthy relationship, don't get in this energy, if at all, for a minute, and then you figure it out. That's what keeps it a healthy, viable, committed relationship. If you get into this energy, you know, off on your own, thinking in your head, you don't really have a relationship anymore. My opinion. Now you come in with the Ten of Wands, uh, two of uh, Pentacles, I mean, leaving this Ten of Wands, I believe, somehow you did manage to not dump it on them because you're reacting to them with very balanced energy. Uh, this is personal energy. It takes a lot of effort. takes a lot of conscious control. It's things. It's exactly those burdens. Maybe you realize, I don't want to bring this person my burdens, you know, so you've managed to work it out. And so now, in terms of them, whereas uh, you were in this energy of really feeling burdened, like you just couldn't do it anymore, you've got it together, got it together. And it might be uh, something about them. I think it's just the fact that they're in your life and that there's someone in your life that motivated you to do what, to drop those with ten of wands. <laughs> And then once you did, you were able to focus on yourself and your personal health and da da da, and you end up in this wonderful energy here. It's a great transformation from Ten of Wands to the Two of Pentacles. Now I really like this, and they go to the Page of Cups. This is a beginning relationship. It could be with a younger couple, but this this Page of Wands here, your person, um, they are facing into you into the reading here, so it's like they're responding to you. Um, I feel, I really feel it like they're detaching from this other person. It's still on their minds, kind of torturing them probably. Um, and so with the page of wands, there's a passion and sexual interest. It may not yet have a lot of depth, but it's almost like it, it and this too is a little bit of you doing tricks for them, uh, you wooing them. You romancing them, you reassuring them, two of pentacles, reassuring them, hey, everything's okay, really, I got it together, it, it, you don't have to worry about me, my side of it, hey, it's going to be all right, that kind of stuff, and they're really responding to that, but it is, they're kind of responding to it like in a childlike way or something, uh, it's, it's just an immaturity about it, too. Um, it's as if they're really coming to you for help and kind of guidance. So that's a little strange energy. It brings in even like a little bit of the uh, codependent uh, vibe, um, that kind of thing. Uh, wanting to be nurtured stuff, which doesn't have to be bad. Um, the moon. This is your advice from spirit towards this person. This is very clear, I think. Okay, very um, outright um, here. The moon here is something that Spirit's trying to tell you. There's something you don't see about this person. You're not seeing it, you know. I think you're pretty attracted to them. It's kind of more than the two of pentacles here and in this position. Uh, it should really kind of show, like, how you feel about the person. And here, you wouldn't think two of pentacles was real kind of hot or strong. I think it really is because you went from a ten of wands. And with them, you became like a two of pentacles. That's like you got your shit together. Whatever it meant for you to get it together because you wanted to present yourself to them uh, if for a relationship. And you wanted to present your best self to them. Here's what I think the moon is saying. You spent too much time worrying about how they think about you. And maybe have you even taken a moment to think about how do you really feel about them? You know, um... The water here, the moon, is coming uh, in advice from spirit. If anything, then it's advice to drop into your emotions. The two of pentacles, too, can be a busy work, a busy mind, a busy work keeping a busy mind busy. And uh, it's basically saying you want to drop into your feelings here. And when you do, I think you're going to realize that there's something you're not seeing about this relationship. Because this is advice to you, Taurus, for this relationship with this person now their advice towards you in this relationship uh this is very clear the best card in the deck they are and this is 
what is so wonderful about this, and it's got to be, a relationship's got to succeed now. The universe itself is telling your person to open up to Taurus here, completely open up to Taurus, to trust, to give yourself, to it's okay, to shine, to be yourself. And maybe that's what you need. Like you feel like there's something you're not getting, some kind of connection you're not getting. Because here's the one really emotional card, your advice with them. And I think in their past relationship here, Taurus, you know, not to make excuses, but they felt like they couldn't be themselves. They felt like they weren't seen by the other person. And you see them. You always saw them. You saw them the second you locked eyes. And you knew who they were and what they were. It just took a few minutes of conversation. But you felt it. You knew it. And they see that. And that's your advice from Spirit is remember, cross-watcher, and share this, Taurus, maybe, with your person if it resonates. You know, this is the universe trying to tell you, do you realize how blessed you are here? Do you know what you have here? Well, <laughs> told you. Uh, this is the four of wands. I don't do the reverses. <sighs> four wands. This is advice from spirit for the relationship now as a whole. And there is no other way to read that. This is the building of a long-term committed, solid relationship in the marriage. Or a marriage. That's what this is. The building of. It shows that what you guys need to do is build now together this long-term committed relationship or marriage if that's what you want. Clarifying the moon, king of cups. Your concern is about the past person. I have to throw in here's my favorite card in the deck. It's the Jim Morrison king of cups. This is clarifying what your the universe is trying to tell you that you don't see something. So I'm asking the universe, universe, what, what is it that Taurus is not seeing? And it's like maybe you're glossing over how much you are concerned about their past person, who maybe is a water's dominant person, okay, in their moon, sun, rising, Venus energies, um, could be. Um, but it's emotional energy. And maybe, you know, it's coming, King of Cups clarifying the moon, Maybe you're kind of keeping the emotions from yourself. Like you don't want to be, you don't want to uh, be admitting that that bothers you. Because you know, maybe it shouldn't. Maybe they told you, hey, you know, um, I'm not I haven't slept with them in years. Maybe you believe them, and blah 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 blah. And you can see they're all into you with the page of wands, all about you. I mean, I, the most reassuring thing in all of this, and I really like this clarification for you. That's reassuring to me. But is the sun being their advice? And well, I don't know if that's the most reassuring advice for you both of you is to build a long-term solid relationship or marriage and you know if you're watching this channel ding 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 I mean that's what we want ideally in the queen of wands fantastic so you do have the king showing up but now is the outcome you have the queen of wands and you know I think part of it here uh, Taurus is like this person is maybe a little bit younger than you they're uh, maybe uh, you might consider them kind of physically beautiful and desirable there could be a little bit of jealousy there that maybe you don't normally have or more than you normally have. Um, but maybe their past person was particularly beautiful physically. Um, but there's a lot of reassurance here. And you end up with this Queen of Wands, uh, which I like. Because look, you come in starting with this Ten of Wands. You do want to put that down. But you end up being the Queen of Wands. I kind of think this relationship is going to move your way some. Um, I don't know their sign, you know, unless they are the fire, uh, Queen of Wands or Fire Sign person um because i think like you're you're gonna this two of pentacles kind of boring energy and this page of wands a little more excitement and i think the overall energy of you guys building together and the way you react together is this is a uh, leo here too look at your composite relationship chart please respond if you do and just tell me what it is but tell me if it's a not a leo uh, rising in your composite i really would be interested to know that because um, this does read, I think, the composite. And so you would be a couple that's very vibrant and sexy and alive and seen and confident. And um, you would be doing things together. 
you know, um, if you'd like building a relationship together, you're doing that. All right, thank you guys. Like, thumbs up, all of that, subscribe. Thank you.